Welcome back. Today we'll be addressing flexion exercises. Now I see tons of people going to the doctor, to therapists, and they're already in a ton of pain. They have a lot of numbness, tingling, uh, pins and needles in the thumb, index, middle, sometimes one half of the ring finger, and their grip is weak. They're in a lot of misery. And what do the doctors tell them or what do the therapists tell them? They tell them to do flexion exercises. They give them squeezing exercises. We'll give them finger walking exercises, whether it's on a table or a wall. Um, they'll give them different exercises that are like gyro rotating exercises, all these different kinds of things. Anything to do with flexion is something you do not want to do. You don't want to do any extra gripping or squeezing when you already have carpal tunnel syndrome. The reason being is that people are already typing all day. They're mousing all day long. They're texting all day long. They're holding on to the cell phone. They're driving all day long. Everything we do involves flexion, but what you don't get is pure extension. And again, the flexor muscles that we utilize on a daily basis, again, from all the activities that I just described, these are actually the cause of the injury and the disorder in the first place. As these muscles get stronger, tighter, or shorter on the front of the wrist, they cause the carpal bones to collapse downward into the carpal tunnel and narrowing it and not allowing the median nerve in the flexor tendons to operate in an enlarged or a normal spaced uh, tunnel. And so what happens is that they're already in pain and misery from this imbalance. Well, what happens is the therapists and doctors go ahead and tell these people, you know what, your grip is weak and, and you're, you're not having a, a good coordination and control and flexion. Let's give you some more of these exercises. So they give them the exact same exercises. They duplicate the exact same activities that cause the injury and disorder in the first place. So if you have muscles that are strong and tight and short on one side, they apparently is an imbalance going on. So what do you need to do? You obviously need to stretch and lengthen the strong, short, tight muscles and then you need to strengthen the opposing muscle group, the exact opposite. So if I'm gripping and squeezing all day long, I don't want to be doing squeezy balls. That's going to make it worse by far. What you want to do is pure extension exercises. And once again, you go to flex stand, pure and simple, just plain, pure resisted extension exercise. I'm actively stretching the flexor group against resistance. I'm actually stretching this muscle group right here as I'm shortening, tightening, and strengthening this muscle group. This creates equal pull on both sides of the joint, therefore opening up the carpal tunnel into a, into a larger position and allowing the median nerve and the flexor tendons to operate freely without impingement and of course in the, the uh, resulting symptoms. So just pure, simple extension exercises. Uh, palm up position right here I'm showing you. You're doing a thumb up position. Once again, as I said before, if you have carpal tunnel, don't do the palm down because it causes the radius and the ulna to cross over and twist and compress the median nerve even more. But if you have carpal tunnel, it's palm up, peer resistant extension, thumb up, peer resistant extension. Our positions are going to be of comfort. And at the same time, you are correcting the muscle imbalance, okay? Uh, eliminating the compression of the median nerve and the resulting symptoms. So again, stay away from any gripping, squeezing, finger walking, wrist curling, anything that has to do with finger and wrist flexion. Avoid those activities until the imbalance is corrected and the symptoms go away. So until then, uh, until next time, we will address some uh, new injuries and uh, new problems, new questions that you have about carpal tunnel syndrome, trigger finger, and other repetitive strain injuries. So thank you again. Have a good day.